This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum, and guess who this is? This is Emily Prankle, John Cullum's wife. Well, hello, Emily. And we are going to do... What? A post. Yes, we are. For my blog. Mm Mm-hmm. And what's the name of my blog? The name of your blog is Emily Frankel's Post. (laughs) (laughs) What is it? (laughs) The name of my blog is M's Talkery. Oh, that one. Okay. Now, I would like John to give us an updated advice to an actor, Uh an actor or actress who is dreaming of acting, but times have changed. And what would you advise an actor in terms of what the situation is in New York and L.A. that you know? What would be the wisest way to get going as an actor? To go to school? To try to join a local group? To make your own group? To go to one of the big cities? What's your advice for an actor today? Well, uh, the main thing that I've always maintained... This is called John's Talkery. (laughs) The BS Talkery. (laughs) Uh, It's very difficult to advise an actor. This is AIR. I can't even advise my own son, J.D. Artist in Residence Broadcast. Coming uh, to you once a week. One thing is from New New York City, which he probably read out of a book somewhere, to thine own self be true. In other words, do what you think is right for yourself, the things that you love and feel. But on the other hand, the acting profession is a very special thing. Nobody else, hardly any other profession that you have to, uh, you have to interview uh, 20 times a year most people just uh, interview. audition twenty times a year. Well, interview is an audition is an interview plus you have to perform, you have to you have to bring out your wares and show people what they what you're doing, but that's that's another part of the business. How do you get a job? If that's, you don't, the, that's what I want you to focus on. Well, right now. would you used say to be, come to New York? Would you say go to L.A.? Would you say stay home? How many people do you know? I mean, our son just came back from California because he wanted to be here in New York for a while. But he's and I know actors who've just gone back to California because they think they can get a job out in California. It's always greener on the other side, and it doesn't make any difference. It's not a bad idea because a New York actor going to California excites tension. A California actor coming to New York, people look at him and think, fresh meat. Well, but the <laughs> truth is, things have changed. It used to be if you you needed to get an agent, an agent was the person that was most difficult to uh, establish yourself with, and you would get somebody, and you'd probably stay with them for a, uh, un, until a major change in your life occurred in terms of your career. Nowadays, actors need to uh, they need to get an agent because you can't get a you can't get a job without an agent. You have to have an agent in order to sign a contract, and and yet the agents don't have the power that they used to. It's the casting agents that make the difference. So I have started advising people, if you get a chance uh, to work with a group, because the casting agents have started groups now that they audition or they, they have workshops and they get to know their actors because they learn in the workshops. Well, I think that's really what I was hoping you'd go for. Yeah. That join a group that's performing, any group, whether it be local or in a city, any place that you have a contact that you could go and actually do some acting is where you should go. That's right. And that, that includes uh, teachers, if, uh, like uh, like uh, if you if you know a, a, 
a teacher who has a group that performs, uh, that's a good place to go. The, you have organizations like Manhattan Theater Club, you have the uh, uh, Roundabout, and you've got uh, um, uh, the, uh, what is the other one that I work at? Playwrights I, Horizons. Okay. If you, that's on my level, I, I use those particular organizations still to try to promote my career. Well, John. Yes, darling. The main thing that you've said is go for any place where you can work in a group. And yes. that's really the thing I wanted. I was hoping that you'd get to. Yeah. I really think this is important. Yes, Thank you, is. John, for telling us this. It's my pleasure, and I hope somebody gets some credit. Uh, gets some. If you get a me. job, great. Let that's us it. know. Right. I, I, I won't take too big a commission. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next, next week. week. This is AIR. See you next week.